in order to replace some of the face-to-face -face discussions that you're used to, you can replicate some of that in the online environment inside Moodle by adding a discussion forum. Adding a discussion forum is pretty easy. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do in your Moodle course is turn the editing on. Click on the blue gear in the upper right hand corner and select Turn Editing On. Once the editing is turned on, you'll notice that you're able to add an activity or resource to any one of your topics. Navigate to the week in which you'd like to have a discussion and click Add an Activity or Resource. All of the activities you're able to add show up in alphabetical order. We're going to select the forum. Once you've selected the forum, click the Add button. The first thing I do to set up the forum settings is expand all in the upper right corner. This will ensure we don't miss any settings. The forum name is the link that will show up on the Moodle course. I usually put the word forum in there so the students can identify that this link is a discussion forum. In naming the link I also like to put in the topic or the theme of the discussion. In the description it's popular to give the student all of the directions and expectations for their posts. This could be how often you want them to post, how many new posts you want them to do, and the due dates in which you would like them to post. In addition to that criteria, you're also going to want to put in the topic of discussion. There are four types of discussions to choose from, and the standard form for general use is by far the most popular. We don't have time to go into each one, but if you'd like to learn more about each forum type, you can click on the question mark icon next to the forum type. You are able to set a due date and a cutoff date for your forum. Students can upload files to their forum posts if you want them to, and they can give each other feedback on their file uploads via the discussion forum. There are two ways to grade a discussion forum. One way to grade a forum is by whole forum grading. This is very similar to grading an assignment or the assignment grading interface where all of a student's posts for this forum will show up on one screen. You can look at their body of work for this discussion and give them a grade. You can make the forum out of a certain number of points. Instead of whole forum grading, there's a second option. That second option is called ratings. When you turn ratings on, each student post will have a drop-down menu next to it with your point range. This allows you to rate each of their posts individually. This works really well if you want to read their posts right away and grade it right away and quickly move on. Ultimately, whether you decide to use the ratings or the whole forum grading is up to you. Many faculty like the new whole forum grading feature because they can view all of the students' posts at once and give them one grade. If you want to have discussion groups, you can turn the group mode on. Separate groups keeps the groups from seeing the other group's posts. Visible groups allows group A to see group B, but they cannot participate in group B. To turn on groups, you first have to have the groups set up in Moodle. We have a help document under our faculty menu that deals with groups that I suggest you reference if you want to divide your discussion forums into, into different groups. When you click Save and Return to Course, you'll be taken back to the main course page. Here you can see the link to the form that we've created. You can see the, the title and the directions of the forum. Adding a new discussion topic will allow you to post to this forum. 